Lesson 8. Problems involving three sets. Let A, B, and C be three intersecting subsets of the universal set U. Then U can be partitioned into eight disjoint subsets as follows. Draw a rectangle representing U and then three subsets of U. A, B, and C. Then the disjoint subset in this Venn diagram are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here, 1 represents the intersection of the three set A, intersection B, intersection C. 2 is A, intersection B, complement, intersection C. 2 is part of A and C, but it is outside B. 3 is A, complement, intersection B, intersection C. That is part of B and C, and it is outside A. 4 is A, intersection B, intersection C, complement. Part of A and B, outside C. 5 is A, intersection B, complement, intersection C, complement. 5 is part of A, but outside B and outside C. 6 is A complement intersection B intersection C complement. 6 is part of B outside A and outside C. 7. 7 is A complement intersection B complement intersection C. That is part of C outside A and outside B. And 8 is A complement, intersection B complement, intersection C complement. That is outside A, outside B, and outside C. Then the number of elements in A union, B union, C is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B plus number of elements in C minus number of elements in A intersection B minus number of element in A intersection C, minus number of element in B intersection C, plus number of element in A intersection B intersection C. And the number of element in the universal set U is equal to the number of element in A union B union C, plus the number of element in A union B union C complement. Example 1. In a survey of 100 consumers, it was found that 60 light companies A product, 40 light companies B product, and 35 light companies C product, 20 light companies A and companies B product, 15 light companies B and companies C product, 10 light companies A and companies C product, 1. How many consumers like the entire three product? 2. How many like only one product? 3. How many like product A and B and not C? Solution. Let U be the set of all consumers surveyed. Then, number of elements in U is 100. Number of element in A is 60, number of element in B is 40, and number of element in C is 35. Number of element in A intersection B is 20, number of element in A intersection C is 10, 
and number of element in B intersection C is 15. Number of element in U is equal to number of element in A union B union C. Since all the consumers investigated like either of the three products. Let us represent this in a Venn diagram. Draw a rectangle representing the set U. Then draw three intersecting subset A, B, and C. A for companies A product, B for companies B product, and C for companies C product. Since we do not know the number that like all the three product, which is this portion, so let the number that like the three product let it be x. So we enter x there, and then this portion will be twenty minus x. Since the number that like product A and B, that's A intersection B is given to be twenty. If this is x, therefore mean that this portion will be 20 minus x. This portion is B intersection C. And the number there is given to be 15. So, this portion will be 15 minus x. Here, A intersection C is 10. If this is x, then this portion is 10 minus x. Let A be the number that like only product A, B the number that like only product B, and C the number that like only product C. 0 is the number that like neither of the three product. Using the formula, number of element in A union B union C equals to the number of element in A plus number of element in B plus number of element in C minus number of element in A intersection B minus number of element in A intersection C minus number of element in B intersection C plus number of element in A intersection B intersection C. We have 100 which is the number of element in A union B union C equals to 60 as number of element in A plus 40, number of element in B plus 35, number of element in C minus 20, as number of element in A intersection B minus 10, as number of element in A intersection C minus 15, that's the number of element in B intersection C plus X, the number of element in A intersection B intersection C. 60 plus 40 is 100. Taking it to the right, that will give us 100 minus 100 equals to 0. 35 minus 15. That will give us 20. And 20 minus 20 will cancel out. So we are left with minus 10 plus x equal to 0. So minus 10 plus x equal to 0 will give us x equal to 10. Now, let us bring back our Venn diagram to A is equal to the number of element in A minus this, minus this, minus this. That's number of element in A minus X minus 20 minus X minus 10 minus X will give us the portion A. That is 60 minus 10 since we have already calculated x to be 10 in part 1, then minus 10, that's 20 minus 10 is 10, minus 0, 10 minus 10 is 0, and this will give us 40. B, B is the number of element in B, minus x, minus 15 minus x, minus 20 minus x. That is, when you subtract this, this, and this, from the number of element in B, that will give you, small b that is 40 minus 10 minus 5 that is 15 minus 10 is 5 minus 10 that is 20 minus 10 is 10 equals to 15. 
and c is equal to the number of element in c minus x minus 10 minus x minus 15 minus x putting x equal to 10 and this will give us 35 minus 10 minus 0 minus 5 which is equal to 20 therefore the number that like only one product is adding these three a plus b plus c that is 40 plus 15 plus 20 which is equal to 75 3 the number that like product a and not b or c is this part a the number that like product a and not b or c that's the number that like product a only is this a and we have already calculated a to be equals to 40. example two in a certain government establishment there are 400 employees 150 men 276 university graduate 212 married person 94 male university graduate 151 married university graduate 119 married men 72 married male university graduate fine one the number of married men who are not university graduate two the number of married women who are university graduate three the number of single men who are university graduate four the number of single men who are not university graduate five the number of married women who are not university graduate six the number of single women who are university graduate seven the number of single women who are not university graduate solution let you be the set of all employees a the set of men b the set of married persons c set of university graduate then number of element in u is given to be 400 number of element in a intersection b is equal to number of married men which is equal to 119 number of element in a intersection c is number of male university graduate which is equal to 94 number of b intersection c is equal to number of married university graduate and that is equal to 151 number of a intersection b intersection c is equal to the number of married male university graduate which is equal to 72 we are to find a b c d x y and z in the venn diagram below draw a rectangle representing the set u then three intersecting subset a which is 150 b which is 212 and c which is 276 enter 72 for the intersection of the three then this portion is a this portion is b this is c this is x y z and let this portion be d one the portion a is a intersection b but outside c 
that is the number of married men who are not university graduate is the portion a and this is equal to 119 minus 72 since a intersection b is 119 when you subtract 72 from it that will give you a and that is equal to 47 2 b is b intersection c as the number of element in b intersection c difference a b is part of b and c but outside a and this is equal to number of married women who are university graduate and this is equal to 151 minus 72 recall the number of element in b intersection c is 151 so if you subtract 72 from 151 that will give us b which is 79 number three c c is equal to the number of single men who are university graduate and this is equal to 94 minus 72 number of element in a intersection c is given to be 94 so subtracting 72 from it that will give us c uh, which is equal to 22. four to find x x is the number of element in a but not b and not c that would be 150 minus a minus 72 minus c that will give us x so x is the number of single men who are not university graduate and this is equal to 150 minus a minus c minus 72 this is equal to 150 minus 47 minus 22 minus 72 which is equal to 9 5 y is the number of element in b and not a and not c number of element in b not a not c and that is equal to the number of married women who are not university graduate this is equal to 212 minus a as 212 minus a minus b minus 72 and this is equal to 212 minus 47 minus 79 minus 72 which is equal to 14. number six z is equal to number of element in c and not a and not b that is equal to number of single women who are university graduate this is equal to 276 minus b minus c minus 72 as if you subtract b c and 72 from 276 that will give us z and this is equal to 276 minus 79 minus 22 minus 72 equals to 103 7 d d is equal to number of element not in a not in b and not in c and this is equal to number of single women who are not university graduate this is equal to number of element in u minus number of element in a union b union c and this is equal to 400 minus since the number of element in u is 400 minus the whole of this set when you add x to a 72 to c that will give us 150 then minus y minus b minus z this will give 400 minus in bracket 150 plus 14 that is y plus 79 that is b plus 103 that is z which is equal to 
54 on your own 1 of 125 applicant at a data processing center 79 had previous work experience 62 had first degree 38 had both work experience and first degree 1 how many applicants did not have work experience? 2. How many applicants did not have first degree? 3. How many applicants had experience but not first degree? 4. How many applicants had first degree but not work experience? 5. How many applicants had either work experience or first degree but not both two a survey was conducted to study the types of taxes affecting people in a random group with the following result 350 people paid federal income tax 200 people paid state income tax 250 people paid sales tax. 75 people paid federal and state income taxes. 100 people paid federal and sales tax. 50 people paid state and sales taxes. 50 people paid all three. One. How many people paid federal income tax but not state income tax? 2. How many people paid only sales tax? 3. How many people paid state and sales tax but not federal income tax? Number 3. After examining 300 defective items, a factory quality controller came up with the following report. Defect in finishing is 90. Defect in hardness is 150. Defect in dimension is 159. Defect in both hardness and finishing is 30. Defect in both finishing and dimension is 24. Defect in both hardness and dimension is 60. Defect in all three is 15. Fine. How many items have defect in? 1. Finishing and hardness only. 2. Finishing and dimensions only. 3. Hardness and dimension only. 4. Finishing only. 5. Dimension only. 6. Hardness only. 7. Only one. Assuming every item have at least one of the defect. 4. A sport club has facilities for football, basketball, and volleyball. An inquiry into the use of these facilities by the 275 by the 274 members revealed the following result. Number of element in F is equal to 130. Number of element in B is 159 number of element in v is 106 number of element in f intersection b is 40 number of element in b intersection v is 9 and number of element in v intersection f is 13 if 38 members do not use any of these facilities at all how many members use one, all three? Two, football and volleyball and not basketball. Three, football and basketball and not volleyball. Four, basketball and volleyball and not football. Five, football only. Six, basketball only. 7. Volleyball only.